Hey, welcome back to Wolf's Weekly. I'm filming this thing during homecoming week. Today actually is Disney Day, so I'm running around the district. I'm seeing all kinds of neat things. The kids uh, dressed up at Disney. I see teachers actually dressed up as Walt Disney. Might even have a picture we can throw up on that one. Um, we have so many neat things uh, happening in the district. And, uh, and so homecoming, one of my favorite times. Tomorrow night will be the parade. It'll be after you. Uh, it'll will have happened already by the time you see this. But we're excited about those things. We live in a community that brings everybody together. And uh, that's where most of you probably moved here for those reasons. You want to live in a Mayberry type place to be able to have and, and that we support our kids and we're there for our kids and uh, we're looking forward to that. In fact, I know this Saturday we've got a situation where we're going to run down and we're going to work on the playground at, at a gateway, the big wood playground. A bunch of us going to jump in there. We probably won't get the whole thing done, but we'll get a head start on that and that's a community coming together. You know your kids better than we know your kids, but we get to see them a lot. One of the habits that we're working on, the third habit of those 16, is self-regulation. Think of your kids. How great are they at self-regulating, whether it be sitting in front of a bowl of candy, on the computer, playing, work, whatever it is. You know, sometimes that's a struggle, but the truth is, it's a struggle for you, too. That self-regulation piece is so hard to be able to do, but it's so important that we start thinking about that, about holding ourselves accountable and holding ourselves together. And as students, we're going to uh, have them work on that. We're going to try to model that. I'm terrible at it, but I try. And so we'll keep trying to do that. So self-regulation, take that and run that with that with your kids. Guys, today I am lucky. I have in her Mickey Mouse shirt... <laughs> I have the new principal at Columbine Elementary, Ginger Slocum. Ginger, welcome. Thank you. Hey, we're excited to have you here. Tell us a little bit about where you came from to get here. So I'm originally from Illinois. Um, I grew up in Illinois, and I was a teacher there for 17 years. Nice. And then we moved to Colorado six years ago, where I became a principal. And um, this is my sixth year being a principal. Um, but my first year at Columbine. Nice, and you Columbine parents, you've, mm -hmm. you've had that opportunity to get to see her. And I'm just hearing wonderful things, and, and you had big shoes to step into, and you're just mm -hmm. doing a, a great job. So, you, and your family's here, mm -hmm. and uh, are they excited about being here? My family is very excited. My husband is actually a teacher at yes. the high school. and Doing then, a great job. Yeah, we have two daughters. Um, Isabel's at the high school, and Jasmine is at Columbine with me. All right, so she's one of those moms mm -hmm. got to keep busy. Not just mm -hmm. being a principal. Uh, she's going to be running around to multiple schools like many of you do as well. Mm -hmm. So your favorite thing about moving into Paradise here in, in Woodland Park? Well, we have been watching Woodland Park for a long time, and um, this is a community we wanted to be a part of. Yeah. So we love going outside, seeing other community members. We love the wildlife and the deer. It's just a lot of fun for our family. It is. You know, those of you who've lived here your whole life, you may that may just be humdrum to you. <laughs> it's not to us. Mm -hmm. we, we just wake up every morning going, oh! We live here. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to uh, Wolf's Weekly, and thank you for playing with me. We'll see you next thank week. You.